Hello everyone, and welcome to another dose calculation question. In this particular problem, a medication order calls for an aminophilic infusion such that 800 milligrams of the drug is contained in 500 ml of D5W. Now, if the dose is 0 0.8 milligrams per kg and the patient weighs 121 pounds, the question is asking how many milliliters should be given for the required dose. So what we can do is basically solve this question in two simple steps. The first thing we want to be able to do is determine the actual amount that the patient receives. And this is the amount in milligrams. So to do that, we can make use of the normalized dose which is given, which is 0 0.8 milligrams per kg. So it's normalized to body weight. And what that means is for this particular patient who is 121 pounds, we can determine exactly what the patient should receive. So if we convert the pounds to milligrams so that our units are cons to kilograms so that our units are consistent then we can take care of our dimensions and we end up with some quantity in milligrams so that amount will actually be the 0 0.8 times 121 over 2.2 and that should be equal to 44 milligrams so this number right here tells us the amount of aminophilin in milligrams that the patient needs based on the dose that is given, a normalized dose. But we don't stop there because we have an infusion, so we need to determine the volume. So the next thing is to determine the volume of infusion to be given. And the way we do that is to make use of the information right here. Okay, so we're given some quantity in the volume, and that gives us a concentration. So using this as a ratio, we could set up a proportion to tell us how much volume will give us the 44 milligrams. And that's what we're going to do next. So... If we have 500 milliliters and it contains 800 milligrams of aminophilin, then it follows that we should know the volume that will give us 44 milligrams based on this proportion. So if we solve for the unknown, x equals 500 ml times 44 milligrams divided by 800 milligrams, that gives you 27.5 ml if you basically do the algebra. So what that means is for this particular question, we're going to infuse 27.5 ml and that will give 44 milligrams of aminophilin. Very nicely and easily done.